Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm your host for today's update to our 15K to 600K portfolio challenge. And this is a portfolio we have invested in projects spanning across six different blockchains in Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, Cosmos Network, Near Protocol, and Avalanche. And the aim of this portfolio is to see if we can invest a total of 15K and manage the portfolio all the way up. And we're also going to be taking profits as we go. Why? Because we're in this market to make money and to grow the portfolio. So we've got a surprise change to this week's lineup. You want to see what that is? Keep watching. Anyway, so starting with Ethereum, where we hold positions in Vulcan Forged, Perpetual Protocol, and Ribbon Finance. We are going to start with Ribbon Finance and the RBN token. The price for the RBN token this week is sitting at 23.9 cents. Portfolio value is now sitting at $265.21. Week on week, we are up 7.7%, which is weird as the market is bleeding badly this week. But Ribbon Finance has found something somewhere about time as well and overall our ribbon finance position is now 0.3 percent up in these markets current climate that's commendable something is working somewhere next is perpetual protocol and the pep token the price of the pep token this week is sitting at 41.3 cents and our portfolio is now valued at 412 dollars 69 cents week on week we are down a massive 20.2 percent and overall we are now down 3.2 percent uh, next is vulcan forged and the pur token the price for the pur token this week is sitting at $3.07. Portfolio is now valued at $316. Week on week, we are down 1.9%. And overall, we are now down 12.4%. So putting things into perspective, our Ethereum position is seemingly strong compared with what's happening around it. With all these chops up or down, this Ethereum position is steady to an extent. The Ethereum position to our 15K to 600K portfolio is now down slightly by 4.3%. It's now valued at $993.90 versus our opening cost of $1,038.59. So not bad. Things are going well so far for these positions within the Ethereum portion to our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge. So guys, please note all the information I'm sharing with you. Some of the numbers will have changed by the time you watch this video or by the time the video is posted. Why? Because the crypto markets move very fast. So these numbers will have changed. So take some of these numbers with a pinch of salt and also bear in mind that what I'm sharing with you in this video is not financial advice. You require financial advice. I think you know what to do by now. Anyway, let's move on to Cardano, where we hold the three positions in ADA, the WMT token for World Mobile, and the Lenify token for Lenify, formerly IADA Finance. Starting with Lenify token, the price for the Lenify token this week is sitting at $2.20, and our portfolio is now valued at $355.41. Week on week, we are down a massive 25%, and overall, we are now up 104%. It still remains one of the best positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge, even though it's dropped 25% in one week. Go figure. Next up is World Mobile Token and the WMT Token. The price for the WMT Token this week is sitting at 10.4 cents, and our portfolio is now valued at $208. Week on week, we are down 23.2%, and overall, we are now down 20.6%, which makes World Mobile and the WMT Token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge. Next is ADA, the Cardano primary coin or the Cardano native coin. The price for ADA this week is sitting at 25.1 cents. Our portfolio is now valued at $301.43. Week on week, we are down 15.4% and overall, we are down 12.6%. So those are the three Cardano positions we currently hold. Our portfolio position for Cardano blockchain is now up 11.7% and it's valued at $864.84 versus our entry cost of $774.26. So Cardano again standing strong right there. Even though we've seen some double digits decline for this week, it's still standing strong. We then move on to the dot summer basket of our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge, where we hold positions in Bit.Country Pioneer and the Near Token, Remark Up and the Remark Token, Move the Network and the Glimmer Token, as well as Kill Protocol and the Kill Token. Starting with the Kill Token, the price for the Kill Token this week is sitting at 29. Cents and our killed position is now valued at $308.72. Week on week, we are down a massive 23.7%, and overall, we are now down 23.2%, which makes killed protocol and the killed token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week. We move on to Moonbeam Network and the Glimmer token. The price of the Glimmer token this week is sitting at 19.5 cents. Wow, that's strange. I never fathomed the Glimmer token going this low, but there you have it. It. 
high inflation. Those are the results. Our glimmer position is now valued at $390.64 and week on week we are down 14.5%. Overall, we are now down 46.4%, which makes Moonbeam Network and the Glimmer Token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week. We move on to Remark Up and the Remark Token. The price of the Remark Token this week is sitting at $1.79 and our portfolio is now valued at $369.15. Week on week, we are down 6.7%. Overall, we are still down 23%, which makes Remark Up and the Remark Token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week. Next is Bit.Country Pioneer and the Near Token. The price of the Near Token this week is sitting at 18.4 cents and our portfolio value is now sitting at $147.61. Week on week, we are actually up on Near, another surprise, by 2.2% and overall, we are still down 39.8%, which makes Bit.Country Pioneer and the Near Token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week. So that concludes our update to the Polkadot and Kusama positions. The whole portion to our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge from Polkadot is now valued at $1,216.12 versus our entry costs of $1,845.25, which means we are down 34.1% overall. And I think this is the second worst position to our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge after near protocol, of course. Next, we go to Cosmos ecosystem where we have that surprise we promised you at the top of the video where we had positions from last week from Akashi Network and the AKT token, Evmos and the Evmos token, as well as Injective and the ING token, Osmosis and Osmo coin, as well as Persistence and the XPRT token, Axla and the AXL coin. So starting with Axla and the AXL coin, the price for the AXL coin this week is sitting at 37.7 cents. Our portfolio is now valued at $393.46. Week on week, we are down slightly by 3.2%. That's some strength there from Axla. And overall, we are down 8.8%. Next is Persistence and the XPRT coin. The price for the XPRT coin is sitting at 17.5 cents. And our portfolio is now valued at $181.45. Week on week, we are down a massive 22%. And overall, we are now down 24.2%. Which makes Persistence and the XPRT coin one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week. We move on to Osmosis and the Osmo coin. The price for the Osmo coin this week is sitting at 44.1 cents. Our portfolio is now valued at $444.50. Week on week, we are down slightly by 2.5% and overall, we are now down 10.8%. Next is Injective and the ING coin. The price for the ING coin this week is sitting at $7.56. Our portfolio is now valued at $756.39. Week on week, we are down 1.3% and overall, we are now up 81 1.8%, which makes Injective and the ING coin one of the best performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week. Next is Evmos and the Evmos coin. The price for the Evmos coin this week is sitting at 6.1 cents. Our portfolio is now valued at $68.93. Week on week, we are down 16.5% and overall, we are now down 85.8%, which makes Evmos and the Evmos coin one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge. Now, the surprise, Akashi Network. What do you think happened? I'll spare you the pain. We exited the whole Akashi position this week. Yes, we exited. Why? Because Akashi was on a tear, just skyrocketing. So we exited our position and we sold the remaining 583 AKT coins at $1.19, which means we have now taken a total of $694.12 in net profits alone, aside from our capital, $694.12. The objective here is to see if we can go back into Akashi if it ever comes down. If it doesn't, we move on to other things. So if we don't get back in again, so long my friend. But if we do, we hope to get in at lower prices compared to our exit position. So this is another way of seeing if we can increase our position. If we can't, we just invest the profits somewhere else. At least we've taken some profits. Akashi could go all the way to some of the predictions we've stated in the past. I won't feel aggrieved by that. We've made a decision and we're going to stand by it. We either stay in or stay out. We've taken some profits. Way to get in at a better price. If we don't, there will be other things coming through. But markets don't always go up. Some people will think because Akashi is so strong during these downtrends, maybe you should consolidate. Yes, that's true. But the way it's been going up is bound to come down at some point. Hence, we are going to stick with our decision. If it doesn't, like I say, it's not the end of the world. We'll move on to something else. It's a guy.
gamble? I know, but there you have it. It's good to be transparent. So, Akashi, this is the last week we're going to do an update on Akashi. It will remain on our record, but it won't be featuring as part of our updates. Why? Because we won't have a position until we've actually got back in. If the price got to a certain level this week or next, of course, we'll jump back in. Why? Because the profits are waiting to go in. If they don't, after a while, we move on to something else. Anyway, so our Cosmos Network ecosystem is now valued at $1,844.73, and that excludes Akashi, the profits we've taken, and our all-time profits from the Cosmos basket to our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge. All-time profits, including our Akashi position that we've taken profits from, we are sitting at $463.24, or 20%, which is too positive. No thanks to the likes of Edmos, where we are deep underwater, but we've compensated that with the likes of Akashi. Anyway, so there you have it, folks. We move on to near protocol and the near token the price for the near token this week is sitting at one dollar eleven cents our portfolio is now valued at sixty two dollars sixty four cents week on week we are down sixteen point six percent and overall we are now down sixty six point six percent which makes near protocol and the near token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week we move on to the final blockchain which is avalanche where we hold positions in trader joe avalanche itself and avalanche starting with avalanche and this other token the price for the Zava token this week is sitting at 16.7 cents our portfolio is now valued at 175 dollars 37 cents week on week we are down 13 percent and overall we are now down 27.9 percent which makes avalanche and the Zava token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week trader joe and the joe token is next the price for the joe token this week is sitting at 23.2 cents our portfolio is now valued at 277 dollars 91 cents week on week we are down 23.4 percent and overall we are now down 43.4 percent which makes trader joe and the joe token one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge for this week finally it's avalanche and the avax coin the price for the avax coin this week is sitting at 10 dollars 46 cents our portfolio is now valued at 546 dollars 89 cents week on week we are down 16.5 percent and overall we are now down 25 percent which makes avalanche and the AVAX coin one of the worst performing positions within our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge. So there you have it. Our avalanche blockchain position is now valued at $1,000 versus $1,450.83, which is our entry capital. So overall on avalanche, we are down 31.1%. And our 15k to 600k portfolio overall, excluding Akashi, is valued at $5,982.40 with net gains of minus $1,502. $86. If we include the profits we've taken from Akashi, our net gains are minus $808.74, which is just over 10%. So as far as I'm concerned, it's still standing strong. There are some weak performance there, but majority of the projects we've got within this portfolio, they are relatively strong and they are certainly going to do better come the next bull run. I know there will be questions on why we exited our Akashi position, but that is a decision we you view looking at the charts and patterns and it just tells you it's probably time to exit this position position and re-enter at a different time. Some of the reasoning and the logic behind some of these moves, we will certainly be sharing with our community in a timely fashion as and when the time comes to have a private community like a private Discord or a Patreon. I don't know where this will go. Those are things we'll be sharing with our community. And also sharing the things we'll be doing behind the scenes because this is a public portfolio. It's not a private portfolio. There are huge moves we are taking behind the scenes in, especially in my private portfolio. So some of it is worth watching. If you think you are getting value from this exercise Size this public portfolio the 15k to 600k portfolio challenge any thoughts guys let us know in the comment section and if you are not subscribed please consider subscribing to our channel until the next video this is stage5.tv signing out for now bye